Coach Martin, big first day here at the MAC tournament. Four finalists for the uh, Monarchs. You guys are having a great day, Coach. Talk about the 149 semifinal match with Richardson. Uh, Richardson, um, awesome match. You know, there's a little controversy there. And um, after he got taken down, he put himself in a roll position. You know, their video review didn't end up being one for us. You know, it is what it is. But uh, so that ended up being 2 1. But Lenny came back and put points on the board, you know, and beat Claxton. Claxton's tough. You know, he's beaten. Hootie Shaw was ranked number one in the country. This is her second win over um, Claxton. So that was good for Lenny. But Lenny's a gamer in matches. What's good with him is he can ride, and he, he can ride on top, and he can get off the bottom. Pretty much everybody. So that's one of his big points, and that's why he's winning matches. You guys had, when I looked at you guys in December, you're a totally different team now. You're going to qualify six, seven, eight guys for the mm -hmm. NCAA tournament. Probably eight is what it looks like to me. But I'm looking at it. Why are you so much a different team from December to now? Well, you know, I just, I think uh, we were in kind of a slump. Well, we're the dual meet was Jack Dekow's the answer. With Jack Dekow out of the lineup, we didn't get him back till mid-January. We were losing matches left and right where we'd have five, five splits. You know, a team like Iowa State, we won five matches. They won five matches with Dekow in there. would have been a six, four split. You know, we had several dual meets like that. You know, one point losses to Edinburgh, two point losses to, you know, uh, Northern Iowa. See, there was like five of those during the year we had. But that guy was a big key for us. As far as the other guys coming along, you know, we just stay positive with them. We know they're young. Most of them are in year one, two, or three. You know, whether they're true freshmen like Jesky or, you know, Richard, um, Richard freshman or just a true sophomore like uh, Lenny Richardson. You know, most of them are in year one, two, and three. You know, Richardson's in year two. Um, Cotty's in year three. That guy's in year two. Um, Billy is a fifth year senior, you know. So, but we just kept moving, working along, and we told him, you know, the work's going to pay off. And we had to learn how to get our bodies a little bit tired in practice. I think that was a big thing. We had to mix up some of our workouts. We were not doing the right type of workouts. We we're getting muscle fatigue in matches, and I think that's pretty much been eliminated. We pretty much can wrestle hard for seven minutes now. I don't think that was the case in uh, December. Makati, I think he's a guy who his name should be thrown in that national championship conversation at 141. Obviously, everyone's saying Steber. You know Rutherford, and, and, and you know he, he beat he beat their Danes. You know yeah. he's yeah. right there. Can yeah. Makati win the national title for you guys? Absolutely, there's no question. Um, you know Chris has just got to keep wrestling hard for seven minutes and putting points on the board and being a little bit more aggressive. The thing about him is he's good on bottom, good on, good on top too. So you know he pretty much rides everybody for two minutes when he wants to. So that's a huge thing for Chris and his defense is unbelievable. You know he gets a takedown. I mean you're not going to score him. Uh, we would like him to see him get more majors, you know, and tech balls and stuff like that. But, you know, um, coming from where he was last year, this year he's pretty much gotten dominant. A lot of this stuff is confidence for those four guys. I mean, we knew coming in that McCotty was confident, Richardson was confident, Deckow and Curling. We knew they were solid coming in, so we really expect them to be in the finals. Deckow has to, you know, repeat the performance of the dual meet, defeating Loader. Mm -hmm. What's he got to do tomorrow? Can he do it, and what's he got to do tomorrow? Got to get off the bottom. He's got to score points on his feet. I think getting off the bottom is the main thing. You know, we went down and loader, and we're going to do it again. So, you know, we, we um, you got to be able to score that point off the bottom, and you got to be able to take down people. Jack hasn't been taken down hardly at all this year. You got, People forget when he came back in January, the Virginia Duels, he was out for 60 days out of competition. 60 days in the day he stepped on the mat, the Virginia Duels. 60 days, that's a long time, high ankle sprain. He had only been working out for three weeks. So right now he's starting to get in shape, you know, He's just starting to get in shape maybe in the last three or four weeks. He can still get in better shape by the time the national tournament rolls around. So we feel real good about him. He's explosive. He's an unbelievable athlete. You know, he's a hell of a football player in high school. So, it's you know, he's by far our best athlete in the team, I think. What do you got to do to the three fringe guys? 25, Jeske, uh, heavyweight Tordo, and I think 97, Beasley. What are those guys got to do at this tournament to get through and qualify to Oklahoma They got to rest City? for seven minutes, bottom line. Seven minutes. All right. If they rest for seven minutes, they'll get through. If they don't, they won't. You so. got you have Beasley coming up. We said we keep this short. You got anything else for me, Coach? Nope. How did you feel about being called the jerk? Being the star of the jerk? How did you feel about that? I laughed. I thought it was funny. <laughs> uh, Coach, I don't take that stuff serious. Bader, stop making fun of me. <laughs> Coach, thanks for the time. Good luck.